Hey, Dom, how's it going? How are you doing? Oh, not bad. What's uh, you guys seem pretty fired up about getting that six win this past week. Uh, what were uh, just what's the mood of the guys this week? Well, the guys is you know, every day you get better, so uh, the hay's never in the barn, so we come to work every day, uh, and just get after them this weekend. Yeah. What are the what are the emotions for you headed into this week's game? Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of emotions, you know, I've been with these guys four years and I love every single one of them. Uh, but you know, this next game, you know, just got to give it out on the field, everything. Okay, Greg. Um, it's such an unusual situation given that this is the last game on the schedule, but there could be a conference championship game, a bowl game, even another regular season game. How are you, how does that change your perspective or your approach entering this one? Uh, well, honestly, it doesn't really change. Uh, you know, this is the most important game of the year just because, you know, it's the next game. You know, um, at the end of the day, we really just got to worry about us. If we cannot execute them, outperform them, you know, it's, it doesn't really matter who we go against. How much have you guys talked about the race in Conference USA and where you guys stand at this point? Uh, kind of, it's kind of like what I, um, I don't really talked about it. You know, we just next man up mentality. Uh, you know, we're playing them this week, so we're just focusing on them really. Do you have any personal curiosity or have you looked into it at all about how would tiebreakers be or, you know, what's going to determine who advances with an uneven number of games or anything like that? No, I'm not, no, sir, not really. I just, you know, I just watch film over who we're playing this week. Control what you can control, you know. Whatever it's happens. funny, all the guys we've talked to have said that so far, and it, it strikes me that you guys would be really curious about where you stand or what could be next for you. You know, what goes into that mentality of not really looking into it as much? Uh, just, you know, we focus really just who we're playing on this week, you know, so all our attention just goes into them uh, and our game plan. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's hard to try to control things that you can't control. And at the end of the day, you know, it's just about what we can control. You know, I know it's competitive, but yeah. For you, what has it been like being a senior under a, a new staff? Do you feel like their relationship with you is any different compared to some of the, the younger guys who are going to be around a couple extra years? Oh, not at all. No, sir. Yeah, coach. All the coaches came in and just accepted all of us for who we are. Um, you know, I, I have great bonds with these new coaches. I love all of them. They've done a lot for us. And, yeah, they, they treat me like one of their own because, because I am one of their own. Because, uh, have you decided how you want to approach the extra year of eligibility or if you'll be back for an extra season? Uh, that, I, I haven't really thought about that yet. I'm probably going to think about it more after this game. But right now we're just really going to try and win this game. I know it's been a tough year for you at times with some injuries, maybe haven't been able to play to the extent that you would have otherwise. Does that factor in at all when you try to make that call? Uh, no, sir, not really. It, you know, I know I haven't been uh, playing as much as I would like, but I'm always behind my guys. I'm always behind the Roadrunners, man. As long as, you know, whoever's in there that's healthy and doing good, I'm always back there. And if I, if I go in, I'm going to give coach the best I got. So what are you think you're going to weigh in terms of like what factors will determine whether you want to hang it up after this year or if you want to come back again? Uh, it really depends on, you know, the, uh, my school wise, uh, how my body's feeling after all this, you know, <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, I just, you know, one day at a time. So are you going to approach, you know, the pregame ceremony Saturday, like this is it and all the sentimental value that comes with that? Or, or have you thought about what that moment's going to be like? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm, it's going to be very sentimental for me. Uh, you know, being I don't think my parents will be able to come out there because due to COVID. But, uh, you know, I'll be waving them in the, in the stands, saying hi to them. And I'll, I'll probably tear up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs>